guys, this is Laura from Doggy U, and today we're gonna to be talking about bike joring. I'm here down in Colchester, Connecticut at the Airline Trail, and we're gonna talk about getting started in bike joring and the simple equipment that I'm using to have fun and exercise my dog with a bike. So let's check it out. So let's start with a little bit of the equipment that I'm using for bike drawing. First, you need a bike. Mine happens to be about 15 years old that I just got a tune-up on it. I found it in my parents' garage, got a tune-up, ready to go. And then you also need your tow line or your line that's gonna come out from your bike and attach to your dog. And I also use a contraption called a walkie dog that I've kind of repurposed. I'll put a link to the uh, in the description below. A walkie dog is generally used for your dog to bike next to you or on your side, but I've repurposed it as a way to keep that line out of the front of my tire, like so out of the bike tire path so that it doesn't get tangled up. So I'm going to show you how I use that as well. And I, so I just need those three things, the bike, something like a noodle or a walkie dog to keep the line off of the bike tire, and then just your line that goes out to your dog. Oh, and of course a harness. So you need an appropriate harness for tugging. I'm using a Howling Dog Alaska, but they make lots of different types of harnesses for this kind of sport. And it's just so much fun. To prepare for bike joring, I need to find a path that's relatively flat. It can have some hills, but your dog is going to do better on a mostly flat surface, especially when they're starting out. And the terrain or the surface of that path needs to be something like dirt or grass that's not going to hurt your dog's joints or tear up their paws. Um, I wouldn't do this on pavement where you're gonna get a lot of uh, friction on their paws as well as wear down their joints. So you wanna try to find something that's dirt or grass and relatively level. Before I go out bike joring, I put Musher's Wax on my dog's pads. So I want to preserve her pads, toughen them up, but I want to keep them safe as well. So the Musher's Wax tends to help them um, stay intact and not rip open, that kind of thing. So it's very helpful for that. I'll put a link to that down below as well. So I put the Musher's Wax on um, and then I hook her up and we're ready to go joring. Enjoying your dog is going to be out front of your bike or your scooter depending on what you're using and they're going to be pulling out front. You want your line to be tight and you want to build them up to longer courses. They can run really really fast but it might only start with them being able to go a short distance. So you want to really build them up just like if you were training for a race. If you're looking to teach commands to your dog, I start them on the ground while they're walking, teaching them left and right, or you can call them G and Ha, um, depending on the terminology you want to use. Your dog doesn't really care as long as it's something you're going to remember. And then once you've trained a halt, a G, a Ha, or a left and a right on the ground, and a very strong stop or an easy, you're ready to go ahead and start on the bike. When you're on the bike, it's easy to help them make the right decision. Because if you need to go left, you're gonna start turning your bike left. And they're typically going to take that cue and go to the left. Same thing with an easy or a halt. If you pump your brakes, they're probably going to slow down when you ask them to easy. And if you stop, they're going to stop because they are attached to the bike. So you wanna make sure you have really good brakes on your bike or your scooter. Also, before you start out, you wanna make sure that you walk your dog out and just don't start them on a cold run from the bike. I know my dog gets really excited when we go out biking, so I need to make sure that I walk her and warm her up for a few minutes before we get started. Another important cue to teach is a leave it or an on by, which means ignore the things around you and continue to go straight. But you'll find that a lot of dogs that you would generally call, you know, maybe distractible or like to sniff, once they're working or, you know, out front of your bike, they ignore everything and they just love doing their job and they love running. So I'm just gonna show you a little clip right here of us working out on the trail so you can see what it looks like live. <laughs> Bike joring is my new favorite activity to do with my dog. So if you loved this video, maybe you should check it out. You can also, instead of having your dog pull out front, use something like a walkie dog to have them bike next to you if you wanna start in what you feel is a more safe environment. Or you can start with a scooter instead of a bike where it's much easier to bail. But if you think this looks like fun, go ahead and try it with your dog. Make sure you're safe, warm them up, put mushrooms wax on your paws, and, and start slow and you're ready to go. You guys have a great day and happy training.